The villagers who live among the Jebel Mara mountains in Sudan's Darfur region say they are blessed with an abundance of natural resources, but they live in poverty. As part of Al Jazeera's exclusive series on Darfur, Mohamed Val went to speak to some of the four people living in the foothills where Sudan's largest rebel group keeps watch. Everything in Darfur has the taste of legend. Especially Jebel Mara Mountain in West Darfur, an island of fertility and abundance amidst an ocean of scarcity and drought. When it rains here, it pours, filling the wadis, creating permanent water springs. Nature is generous here, as nowhere else in Darfur. What does the name Jabal Mara mean? It means the blessings are outdoors. It means everywhere you go here, you can find food and drink and live off the land. A Sadiq is a farmer turned rebel. He and his companions from the Fur ethnic group now control these hills and their waters, preventing the entry of Arab tribes and government troops. The abundance of Jabal Mara is but the tip of the iceberg of the endless natural treasures Darfurians think lie deep under their feet. My brother, there are studies that show there is a huge amount of oil and uranium here. But it is this concept of exceptional natural rituals that made the fur bitter about their equally exceptional poverty. There is no electricity here, no paved roads, there are no telephones, no hospitals, no real schools, almost no sign of the state. The economic situation of the people is devastated and the government does nothing to help them. Look at our villages. They are like something out of the third century. If the government had given more attention to people here, the conflict would never have reached this level. The fur are a farming race. Until the war began, the only job of villagers was in the fields. Now, the occupation of most young men here, like Sadr, is insurgency. While his wife Maryam makes baby food, a Sadiq and his comrades are checking RPGs and sending secret messages during breakfast time, using the kitchen as an office. As they tour the village, rehearsing their chants, Maryam has to walk three hours to the fields. She plants potatoes and millet in the rich mountain soil. The people here may be poor, but to some others in Darfur, the relative peace and the great fertility of the land in these villages are treasures beyond compare. Mohamed Val, Al Jazeera, from Jebel Mara Mountain, Darfur.